Hey everyone, it's me, Ashley Watts. Um, I just wanted to go over the last of the three vital behaviors. We've been talking about those the last couple of weeks. So remember, the first one is to be proof that the product works. So you're drinking your Shakeology, you're working out every day, you're living a healthy lifestyle, you're eating right, you're doing everything you can to be healthy overall in your overall health. The second one we talked about last week is to invite, invite, invite. You should be expanding at least two people into your uh, social network each day. You should be reaching out to five people a day, just forming with them, um, asking about them, about their lives, about what's going on. I'm not mentioning be mentioning Beachbody at all. And then I'm um, talking to at least five people a week about coaching. So um, that's part of the invite process. And today we're going to talk about that last and final third vital behavior. And that is personal development. Um, I will be completely honest. When I first started this cold coaching journey, I heard about personal development and I wanted to freak out. <laughs> I am not someone who enjoys long readings. Um, you know, I taught first grade. If it's not a little picture book, I don't enjoy it. And so, um, you know, it's something that I've had to learn. Um, and I've learned that Personal development doesn't have to be in front of a book. It can be um, listening to things while you're driving. Um, and we do a lot of personal development at our house through listening to webinars and doing different things. So your face doesn't actually have to be in, in a book to be able to get your personal development in. Um, one of the things that I, I really enjoyed, Scotty Hobbs came to a team retreat that we had, and he talked to us about personal development. And if you don't know, Scotty Hobbs is a top 10 coach, um, really, really, really cool um, story that he has of how he became a coach. And, you know, he has made a million dollars in Beachbody. And, you know, you think about him, you think, oh, maybe he's just lucky or, oh, maybe he just did this. And, and you know, he talked about how each day he's just like every single one of us. He gets up and he's groggy. Mm -hmm. He's tired. He doesn't want to work. He, um you know, has that no motivation. I mean, most of us are not morning people. We don't wake up extremely happy, ready to, you know, do the laundry, get the dishes done, go to work, do everything that we need to do. So he wakes up just like all of us. And his very, very, very first thing that he does is he gets his Shakeology every day and he reads, he reads, reads, reads until he feels good for the day. And I think that is key in this business. Like, People see that you're happy and they want to be what you are doing. They want to be you. And um, they see this happiness, this excitement, this um, just thrill of life. And when you're reading your personal development, that starts to take over. You become excited. You become ready for life. You become a, literally a new person. And so personal development is something that is different for everyone. Um, personal development isn't getting on Facebook and reading a quote or getting on Pinterest and finding a motivational quote. That's not personal development. Um, most of us, and you can tell um, most of the coaches, most of your coaches that you have, when they started coaching will say, you know, they got on Pinterest and was like, oh, perfect, like motivational quote, this is great. Um, that's not personal development. Personal development is diving into something to learn something better about yourself, to be able to better uh, yourself, your inner self. And so, um, what everyone does for personal development is so different. Um, if you're struggling with being a leader, there's books out there um, to help you become a better leader. If you're struggling with um, feeling imperfect or not good enough, there's books out there to help you feel better about yourself. Um, you know, I find my personal development is so different from what other coaches do. And that's because of my story and my life. Um, you know, I've struggled with depression. I've struggled with not feeling adequate enough. I've struggled with um, comparing myself to other people um, in both my personal life and, and my coaching life. You know, sometimes I have to remember to put those blinders on to not look and compare myself to other coaches. That I'm on my own personal track and that's okay where I am. And a lot of the reason why I keep going at this business is because I'm reading those types of books for me to realize that I'm important, I'm valuable, I'm doing a good job. And it doesn't matter what 
so and so is doing, or how many coaches so and so added, or um, so and so is better at this than me, or you know, I'm me, and that's okay. And so personal development is what gets you through that. And um, we all know whether you're a brand spanking new coach or you're a veteran coach, whether you're an emerald coach, whether you're just a coach, whether you're just a diamond coach, whether you're a 15 star diamond, everyone has their ups and their downs in this business. There's times that I've dropped rank. There's times that life has gotten the best of me. But then there's times where I get these messages from someone who says, my stomach doesn't hit the steering wheel anymore. Um, thank you. Thank you for changing my life. And so we all experience these, these ups and these downs and these ups and these downs. And if you're not doing your personal development, the first time you go down, you might be able to pick yourself back up a little bit. But you also might sink. And if you don't do that personal development regularly, when you go up, everything's wonderful, you're working hard, and then all of a sudden, it tanks. You don't hit Success Club one month. You've set a goal to hit the SC10 by the 15th of the month, and it doesn't happen. And so what do you do? You want to give up. But that personal development that you're reading constantly says, no, no, you can't give up. It's time to move forward. You know, when I first started coaching, I looked at these top coaches and I thought, Brigitte Lumford, no way. You know, she has this, she has that. And it wasn't until later when I found out her story that, I mean, here she is, she didn't go to college. She, you know, she has, she was claiming bankruptcy when this all happened. And she's no different than me. She, I mean, she's a different person. She has her own strengths and weaknesses. But being a top 10 coach isn't luck. It's not luck at all. It's working hard every single day sticking to the three vital behaviors, those basic three vital behaviors, and doing that personal development. And so when you hit those rocky, rocky roads, you're not going to throw in the towel the first time it says, oh, I didn't hit success club. Oh, so-and-so, uh, they became an emerald coach before me. I don't know what to do. Like, this, is, this isn't for me. It is for you. Anyone can build a business. I, my education is health education. I got a bachelor's in health education, went back, got my elementary education endorsement so I can teach for, you know, elementary school. I'm a teacher. You know, I didn't get business training. I didn't, you know, become this magical business person. I've learned. And there's many times, and my coach, Breezy, will tell you that I wanted to bow out. And her first question was always was, how's your personal development? And those times that I wanted to bow out, I can honestly tell you my personal development, either A, wasn't happening, or I was doing that, mm, I'm going to look on Pinterest today and find out what quote I can find, you know, to better myself. And so realize that we're going to have those rocky roads. We all are going to have them. There's no doubt about it. Um, expect it, uh, you know. Set your goals high. Set your priorities where you want them. But realize that this is going to happen in your journey. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. And that is okay. And so as you read your personal development, as you faithfully read it, and I really, really, really would suggest the best time of day. For me, I've learned that it is morning because I'm a better and happier person throughout the day. I'm a better mom. I'm a better wife. I'm a better me if I read it first thing in the morning. So that's my suggestion. Do not not do your personal development. So many coaches, they overlook personal development and that is where it all happens. That's where it all starts to go downhill. So don't overlook that personal development. Realize from the beginning how important it is. Build that foundation so when that first, you know, bump in the road comes, you say, ah, I got this, you know. There's, there's next month to hit SC5 or SC10 or, you know, become Emerald. I got this. And you don't just throw in the towel because you're frustrated. So, Three vital behaviors, stick to them. First one, be proof of the product. Make sure it works. Be the product, share your experience. Two, invite, invite, invite. And number three, work on your personal development. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me or any of your coaches. And um, remember, we're all one big happy family and part of the ugly tribe. So um, let us know what you need. We'll see ya.